navigating between the different iOS command modes. In this video, I'll look at the commands that are used to move between the different iOS command modes. We'll look at the enable command, the disable command, configure terminal, exit, end, control Z on your keyboard, plus some sub-mode or sub-configuration mode commands to enter the different sub-modes. Let's take a look at how this works. I already have a console connection to a 2960 series switch. I'll press enter on the keyboard and now I move to user exec mode. Notice the command prompt. To get to privileged exec mode, I type enable. To return to user exec mode, I type disable. I'll return back to privileged exec mode. Now, to get to global configuration mode, I type configure terminal, and now I'm in global configuration mode. I can type exit to return to privileged exec mode. If I type exit again, I leave the console altogether. So I'm in privileged exec mode. I type exit, and you can see I've left my console connection. To re-enter the switch and get a command line interface, I have to press enter on the keyboard and I'm brought back to the console connection with the switch. I'll type enable, configure terminal, and now I'm in global configuration mode. Let's enter one of the sub-configuration modes. I'll type line console 0 to get to the management interface for the console port. Now that I'm in a sub-configuration mode, if I type exit, I return to global config mode, like this. I'm back in global config mode. This time I'll type line VTY 0 to 15 for my virtual terminal management interfaces. I can move directly from one sub-configuration mode to another. Notice if I type interface VLAN 1 from within my line VTY line configuration mode, it'll take me directly to interface configuration mode. From here, I can enter different interfaces like interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1, or I can move directly to line console 0 again. Commands that are normally run in global configuration mode can also be run from any of the sub-configuration modes as well. The end command and the control Z keyboard combination essentially do the same thing. They return us all the way to privileged exec mode. Let's give it a try. I'll type end and you can see that I'm moved all the way to privileged exec mode. I'll move all the way back to global configuration mode into line console 0 again and this time I'll use my keyboard hold down the control key and press Z for control Z and you can see that I'm brought all the way back to privileged exec mode. If I'm in global configuration mode and I type end I'm also brought back to privileged exec mode. So that covers the enable command, the disable command, configure terminal, exit, end, and control Z. Navigating efficiently between the different command modes will save you a lot of time. 